Vanessa here welcome back to my channel if you're returning I want to say a massive thank you for the support and if you're new thank you so much for checking me out before we actually dive into today's video I want to say a massive thank you to all my new subscribers thank you so much for support I really really appreciate you and thank you so much for those of you guys who were subscribed before as well I really appreciate your support guys thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you okay so let's get into today's video so I'm back with another hair video and this video is basically my tips on how to grow uh, long healthy hair I get this question a lot about how did you grow your hair you got so much hair you know how long have you been growing your hair da, 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 da. so i thought why not make a video about it and just sort of share it with you guys and some of you might find it helpful especially if you're trying to grow long hair and healthy hair or maybe your hair is thin and you want to make it you want to you want to um have thicker hair or fuller hair okay guys so my tip number one will be moisture now moisture is particularly important if you're trying to retain length because the more moisturized your hair is, the less likely it is to break and the more length you're able to retain. So moisture is really important. I have actually made a, a video about how I moisturize and seal my hair. So you can actually check that video out. Now my tip number two will be scalp massages. Now scalp massage is particularly important because it increases the blood flow to your scalp so you want to make sure you massage your hair perhaps every day if you can or every other day you can do this using your fingers or just do a brush like a, a scalp brush now massaging your hair can also help in getting your hair fuller and also uh, to activate hair growth to, or promote hair growth so if you have thin hair and you want to make it thicker, scarf, not scarf, scarf massages are really, really good. So I would say definitely consider doing that if you, you're not doing it already. Now the tip number three will be avoiding excess oil. Now I have a little story to tell you guys about this because I am actually uh, guilty of that. Well, to be honest, I don't think I knew any better then, but now I do. Um, you know, most people think that putting too much oil on their hair is gonna is what is gonna make it moist. I remember when I was growing up and I was getting my hair done, perhaps by my mom or my sisters or my aunties, I would always get so much, my hair would just be so drenched in oil, like I'm not even kidding. Because I had really uh, brittle hair, it was so dry, and I used to cry a lot when I was doing my hair because it was just that uncomfortable. So they thought, okay, it's just dry because it doesn't have enough oil so the amount of oil that would go in my hair would be ridiculous but and i think people still think that that's the way to do it today and i don't actually blame you if you think like that because it's just one of those things that we've been accustomed to from a little age but it is so far from the truth when you put too much oil in your hair especially your scalp you are blocking your pores or blocking the hair follicles now if your if your pores are blocked then the sebum that your your scalp produces that nourishes your hair doesn't actually get to the hair itself if that makes sense so it stops it from growing so don't put too much oil on your hair especially your scalp there are so many ways of moisturizing your hair making sure that you know it is more manageable so like i said i've got a few videos and there are more videos coming about my hair and how i take care of it so you can actually subscribe and hit the, the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of those videos so please don't put too much oil in your hair definitely oil is needed but not too much of it now my tip number four is exercise exercise is really important or exercise yeah exercising is really important because it promotes it increases the blood flow to your scalp not only is it good for your body because you're able to stay fit and healthy but also it, it sort of brings more nutrient to your scalp therefore promoting her growth so if you're not already exercising i would definitely suggest that you incorporate some sort of exercise into your routine um it could just be maybe 10 15 minutes it's definitely worth you know um uh, doing that a day you don't have to do it five days a week but some sort of exercise is definitely needed or sort of 
yeah it's, it's gonna help you in the long run now tip number five would be eating the right food obviously we all know the benefits of eating right eating healthy eating a balanced diet that only is not good for your for your general health but it's also good for your hair growth now our hair needs fatty acids that you can get from things like salmon nuts um you can also get them from olive oil and all that but salmon nuts and mackerel are really good because they're rich in omega-3 6 and 9 oils now those ones are very good in promoting hair growth and also in making sure that your hair is nice and soft so definitely incorporate those things into your diet or if you can't because perhaps you don't like fish or you don't like nuts or you're allergic to nuts you can buy the capsules they are available over the counter so you can just take maybe one capsule a day and you have your dose of what you need um for i mean for, for that particular time so i would say definitely incorporate that now the other thing is amino acids so that comes from protein as you all know or if you don't know our hair is made of a, a protein called keratin so um you want to make sure that you have enough protein in your diet because that's what's going to give your hair enough uh, thickness and also your hair being thick just means it's or having enough protein in your hair just means that it's nice and thick and it's strong so it's less likely to break therefore you're able to retain length okay guys the other thing is antioxidants now antioxidants are really really important again for our general health but also for our hair so you can get them from things like eating uh things like raspberry blueberries you know um all the berries uh, you can also get them from spinach i do eat quite a lot a lot of spinach because obviously it's, it's full of antioxidants and it's also got quite a lot of water in it so uh definitely eat those things your diet also uh helps your hair grow if you heard that saying that says you are what you eat it's definitely true the same thing applies to your hair as well so my tip number six will be drinking enough water so all this comes around the same umbrella so water again it relates back to the other tip the first tip that i talked about which was moisture so drinking enough water just keeps you hydrated in general your skin will look good your hair will look good and you might even end up losing weight just like i am trying to lose weight i'm documenting my journey on this channel as well so if you are in the process of losing weight perhaps or you are on your journey definitely definitely sign up definitely click that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out any video that i'm doing with regards to my weight loss so um yeah so water water is really 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 important now my tip number seven i'm not sure i, I think i lost count i will write it on the screen uh if i'm getting it wrong okay guys so i would say low manipulation so you want to make sure that you don't over manipulate your hair or you don't manipulate your hair unnecessarily so protective styling is going to be your best friend especially if you're, if you're starting out from scratch and you're trying to grow um so yeah definitely put your hair in protective styling it makes sure it, it makes sure that you're not constantly on your hair like touching it fiddling with it because in the process of doing that you're most likely to cause breakage and that's how your hair eventually is going to lose its length or its fullness so you want to make sure that your hair is in protective styling as much as you can obviously the the times that you you can manipulate your hair is probably when you're massaging it but it shouldn't really cause any trouble it's not like you're actually fitting with the hair strands you're just massaging your scalp so it should be pretty straightforward so low manipulation protective styling definitely is needed my tip number seven or eight is linked to what i just said about low manipulation don't do your hair when you're angry when you're tired or when you're stressed trust me if you do your hair when you are one of those things you're most likely to snap your hair trust me because first of all you're not going to have the patience to go through the detangling process and also you're most likely to break your hair because essentially you're not patient with it or you're not doing it probably you want to just rush it through so personally i don't do my hair when i'm one of those things if i'm tired if i'm stressed if i'm angry no I'm, i won't touch my hair 
even if it's in a bad condition i'll just leave it and when i feel better i will now come and handle my hair so yeah make sure that you don't sort of do your hair when you're in one of those situations so my tip number eight or nine is it is washing your hair guys wash your hair wash your hair it's really really important i know that you probably heard before that um you don't want to wash your hair too much because it's going to strip your your hair of its oils yes that's true but that's if you're using shampoo all the time now you can wash your hair with other natural remedies that don't necessarily strip your hair of its oils like using apple cider vinegar or baking soda you can use that or you can actually cold wash cold washing is actually really good because it adds moisture to your hair so cold wash is basically just using conditioner to wash your hair um so what i do i would wash my hair every two weeks or three weeks the latest sometimes i get really busy with the kids and i don't get around to doing it i won't even sit here and lie but it doesn't happen very often that i don't wash my hair past three weeks like no that's just the no no so you want to make sure that you wash your hair every week every two weeks uh oh, sorry every three weeks maximum and in between you can co-wash so in between use conditioner to wash your hair instead so that sort of makes sure that it's got enough moisture it's basically just kept so well. my tip number 10 if this is wrong, like I said, I'll write on the screen because I'm not actually, I haven't written this down. So my tip number 10 would be uh, maintaining your hair when it's in protective styling as well. Because sometimes when we have our hair on the wig, like some people wear wigs to, uh, as protective styling. To be honest, if you wear your hair on the wig and you leave it for like a month, you don't even like, you know um spray it with water to add moisture to it it's not really protective styling because when you take that wig off your hair is going to be really tangled and you're gonna have a lot of like shed or dead ends you know so you want to make sure that even if your hair is in protective styling that you're still um sort of looking after it so moisturizing it what i do at night time i don't do it do this all the time now because trust me it's not easy with two kids but it's one of those things that i know will get easier and i will definitely get back to doing it i used to moisturize my hair every night so i'll just pour water on it put it in twist and then just hold it put my scarf on and go to sleep and trust me if you do this when you wake up in the morning your hair is going to feel so soft and luscious and so easy to manage that like to even style you know or even if you're styling your hair the night before for work the next day make sure you use water as part of that style if that makes sense just to keep it moist so my tip number 11 will be to trim your hair i know when you're trying to retain length the last thing you want to do is to cut part of your hair out because you're like oh my god i'm losing length but no sometimes your hair has dead ends split ends you know so you don't want to keep that so you need to get rid of those so that new natural healthy hair can continue to grow so there's no point in on hanging on to damaged hair just for the sake of you feeling like you've got long hair if that makes sense so if you've got split ends or dead ends it's definitely worth trimming it i don't trim my hair all the time i just watch it i know usually when it's done for trimming because my hair gets really my ends get really dry brittle and no matter how i moisturize it it just doesn't feel the same like the rest of my hair so that's how i know that it needs a trim and i will just trim it so i know some people are kind of like on a schedule they say okay i'm gonna trim my hair every three months every six months it's not really necessary because if your hair hasn't got dead ends or split ends you don't necessarily need to trim it as such i would say so just just listen to your hair so the last thing we're gonna leave you guys with is patience okay so your hair is not going to grow long it's not going to get full overnight this takes time so in the process just enjoy it you know enjoy your hair at whatever stage it's at you know find styles that are suitable for your hair type and suitable for your hair length and enjoy it while while it's still going on and your hair will grow it will grow 
on doing magic time you will eventually get there everything in life is i believe is just patience guys like yeah you just you just have to be patient and hang in there you will definitely definitely see results if you don't give up so i hope that this video has been useful in some way to you as far as watching and if it has please don't forget to give me a thumbs up it really lets me know that yeah i did add a bit of value and also don't forget to share with your friends and your family by the way do you like my hairstyle if you like it great because i do i have actually um got this style in one of my videos on my hairstyle videos i will link it in the description box below so you can actually uh check that out if you want to reproduce it don't forget to subscribe for some more hair related content i'm also on a fitness journey so you will see a bit of fitness on here and also i'm a mom like i said so i will share my experience of motherhood that can help other moms out there as well so those are the type of videos that i make so if it's your first time here and you're interested please don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you in my next video bye now